All right, folks, the deck is Spell Hunter. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of spells and make our Zul'jin as powerful as possible. We've also got Deathstalker Rexar in here to help us generate some beasts and Rock Dalar for additional value. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Rifle is good because I just want to find Explosive Trap into Paladin. My side, not the best. So Dark Bishop makes the hero power zero. I wouldn't. That's not what his text says, though. Does that do? Oh, it's Reno Paladin. All right. This honestly might be worth considering here to give this a, like, three is a good break point. Oh, I don't have it equipped, though. I thought it was weapon in your hand. Unlucky. All right, not worth. No? Probably looking for another wandering here. I'm gonna use that eventually, right? Hit the Finley. Nice. Okay. Imagine that hits either the Alex Draza or the Schnoz Dormant. Hey, another secret. Okay. Pack deck. Sure. Fire Uther found his actual hero power. True. Literally one mana counter spell in a moment. True. True. A misdirection was not great, but better than something uh, bad off of the Omayog. And now I don't need to play around the Omayog, right? I think I want to go here because Honker is kind of weak into the... Uh, the board. Oof. Also, also that secret, apparently. Uh, there's no room to play the flare with uh, the cards that I have in hand right now, though. So I have remaining pack and cat. That might be necessary soon, but probably not so much here. I'm gonna hold this just in case I have more secrets, especially after I saw the uh, Oh My Yog already. Next turn might need to be Rexar though, just because it's like I'm getting to the point where I might need some healing. Gonna need the Rexar. It's pretty good here, though. And hopefully I'll get a few turns of uh, building beasts. I don't have the greatest uh, Zul'jin anyway, so... I think I can take time to uh, hopefully find some, like, lifesteal stuff. This is good into the Circus Amalgam off of the Nizoth. But not much else. Okay. I'll just give it stealth. Ugh. <laughs> uh, literally the only time I'm gonna have a minion in hand. Okay, well, sure. <laughs> That's a good top deck, at least. My 
Good God. Where's my deadly shot? Maybe they're forced to attack into this. Um, I do have the Negrand Slam. Ow. Point Alex. Okay. Oh, that's so brutal for the for the Negrand Slam. Likely to seal it. Unless. Here comes a bigger. Everything's dead. Not over yet. Um, Zeph is a concern. New Zoth is a concern. Dragon Queen Alexstrasza is a concern. I don't think anything does any single singular card does ten damage to me. Got twenty four on board. Plus uh, to my side. Yeah, they're just dead on board right now. Oh my god, we pulled it out. Or not? Um, it's gonna depend on what I get off of the uh, to my side, right? Always huffer. Oh my god. I think rifle is just so good we have to keep it and then trust that we hit early game pressure plate is good on two uh, because it potentially denies like uh, Kieran Tormage shenanigans hey there's Rexar player is bound to be good in this matchup Regardless of what type of mage it is. It's a little less good here. You can count on me. I'm certified. Summer. Oh, maybe. Reno quest or spell quest? It's spell quest. No, they're not getting all of them, so it's maybe Reno quest. I don't know. Font of power seems kind of uh, atypical. I don't think I want to give up the uh, the flare here because it doesn't deny an ice block.
Hey, Justice Crater. I do not like that card. But at the same time, I'm fine with it attacking into a uh, more pressure plates. I'm fine with it attacking into a wandering. I'm going to flare here if I don't hit something else, I think. I think no matter what, I just rip the flare here. Because I don't really have other playables right now. Alright. Well, we know the next secret is probably an ice block then. I think I do want to rip the uh, to my side next turn and... Then go into Rexar mode. Nope. Gotta clear that. That allows me to go Zildjian first and then play the uh, Dust Stalker. So I know it's, I know it's super slow, but I feel like I can play super slow when I've got a Rock Dalar in the hand. And I feel like this is looking more and more like a Reno deck, which means that Arcane Giant is going to negate some of their win condition. It's really tempting to just rip the Rex out here, but I think it's probably wrong. That, however, is pretty good. Those are the probably the two best options because it protects the uh, the huffer. Do you think previous version of tracking was stronger or the current version? Uh, it depends. We're gonna have some fun. It is in fact Reno. One is uh, not strictly better than the other, though. We are friends now. Hello, then friend. the other card. Hit the Reno. Hmm. Okay, too. That's pretty good. This turn looks like Deadly Shot Unleash. Or unleash deadly shot, most likely. <laughs> that voice line is so grating. <laughs> Alright. Potential lethal next turn. But uh, this gives us the opportunity to set the Zul'jin and then look for, uh, if we miss lethal with it, uh, we just have the Rexar to generate some value. Um, I'm going to attack after, even though, like, that's a generated secret, so it's not necessarily, or it could be um, Flame Ward again, but there is a flare in our Zul'jin, so I don't want to get the uh, the flare out. Give me all the honkers. Uh, I probably just need two and a Leoc though, right? Yeah, just two and not even a Leoc. Uh-oh. Getting crowded on the board space here. Double Leoc, you're dead! We did it, chat! Wow, those are some good secrets, too. Zul'jin lethal.
potentially some sort of Verino. That trick's good early. I would uh I would have liked to have gotten a uh freezing trap there, but I hope you like my invention. Is it Mechathoon? My side is good. If this ends up being a Mechathune deck, I probably want the aggression. Um, I don't think Pressure Plate works into Mechathune, does it? Because I think the uh, Cataclysm or the Blood Bloom. Okay, so because of Blood Bloom, it should work, right? It looks like it's Reno, just kind of a weird Reno. I don't know. The novice engineer is what threw me off. Blood Bloom, then Megathune, then cards. Okay. Yeah. I think I just want to uh, like out aggro them regardless. Honker. Like I've got a good aggressive start. I might as well lean into that. If they're running a Kael'thas version, though, they might not have the opportunity to uh, Blood Bloom first. The problem there is that... File. At least the uh, bear should live, right? Yeah. Might have been worth weaving in a hero power there, but I still set up lethal with the Rock Dalar. Can you get two huffers from that? No. Uh, it's too individual, though. Okay. I don't want to give up my... Uh, your power yet? This will be a All right, next turn we have a uh, weapon hero power. As long as we can dodge, avoid dead. They are drawing a lot of cards. Maybe it's Reno Mechathune because yeah, I think that's the only thing that makes sense. They do have a six or a four six taunt in hand. I have another deadly shot in my hand. Feel like this is the first use of Rock Dalar? Uh yeah, if you ignore the other times we used it, it is. Wait, they could have gotten healing off of that. Saved. Side no. It's not even Reno. I want to find this old gem. I think that the explosive trap does a whole lot, and I just want to rip the. Uh, the Grand Slam next turn, anyway. I think it's unlikely they attack my face with uh, either of these, just because they want to get the healing. There goes that healing. Not quite there. Even with this, it's too. Wait, this, or this, this, this. 
Nah. Let it rip. Close. At least they can't tap. So with the double mistress, we know it's not like straight Reno, so there's no guarantee that even if they have the Reno in hand, it's online. Or even if they have the Reno in deck. Looks like they're fishing for it. Yeah, I don't think they have their combo now, so it's not the end of the world. It's kind of irritating. Because the plot twist was probably involved. That's a high value arena, though. I think their combo is disrupted, chat. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it seems like they can't pull it off anymore. What is that? Uh, I think I want early game against Mage. Apparently that's an old meme that uh, I don't remember the origin of. We can probably delete that command. Do we lose on turn one? Probably they kept that card. Pretty cool. Eh, all right, maybe it's uh, <laughs> maybe it's explosive, and we just never ever proc it. Do you hear it's oh, we're Cthulhu Hunter now. Is the line cracker do it viable? Um, it's probably one of the worst things you could do as a druid combo. So. Like it works, just not super well. It's coming. Okay. Uh, I think I want to go pressure plate in case of Kieran Tormage. Job done. Huh. Ah. Okay. Whoa. What's going on with my... What is this? Pressure plate? Um, hmm. I already tested for a fair game with that? Yes. So, I'm just gonna bash here and look for another wandering, maybe? Explosive. I think Venom Strike is good because I want to get this down next turn. Time to get wrecked again? I intend to deceive. You say so. Seems good. They play a new secret here. I don't think I want to rip the to my side, but I imagine this is probably a uh, Cloud Prince turn, right? Okay. Uh, Got to go Tame Beast here, I think. After attacking face. Tame Beast, Wandering Hero Power. Yes. Um, like, even though this looks tempting, I want to be able to ha save it for next turn when I can play it with the two my side. So, I think Wandering might actually be less important here. Oh, well, we got them both. Now, even if a new secret comes down, I can just go tracking to my side. Possibly a flame ward in there, but almost certainly and uh, a counter spell. Bump here. Sure. Still less damage than was on the board. Play around counter. This game is easy. 
Oh, I forgot to play around Flame Ward. Seemed pretty unlikely after the uh, Oasis Alley, but it was still something that I should have played around. So the opponent loses the game of Hearthstone. Uh, where's that guy who said I was gonna get wrecked? Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Bizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Nogglesher, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.